Hi, I'm Effie and over the course of December I've been putting out videos where I have tier ranked all of the books that I've read over the course of 2023. Next week I'm going to be putting out my best, worst, surprising, disappointing and a additional list of 10 books that you'll just have to wait and see what that's going to be. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a book bracket based on the way that I've categorised the books in my tier rankings. It may not make sense now but I promise you it'll make sense once I get started. So we're going to do two separate uh, book brackets, we're going to do one for the best and one for the worst and we're going to see based on I guess a bit of kind of dumb luck about how these books end up falling in the brackets but also just kind of uh, based on gut response what I think my best book and worst book of 2023 is. At the time that I'm filming I have a rough idea of what books are going to be on my lists that I'm putting up next year but but I don't think those lists are going to be ranked so I don't think I'm going to have like an absolute best book of the year and an absolute worst book of the year. So this will be interesting to kind of see what the results are I suppose. I did have a look at the Bracket Maker website earlier and it's a little bit buggy. Anyone that's ever used the Tear Maker website will know that that is so buggy and so full of adverts. The bracket one is even worse so I apologise if it's a little bit choppy when I record my screen but hopefully together we can make something that works. Okay so I've imported the images for the very lowest tier of the tier ranking which if I'm remembering correctly was yeet it out of the window into a lit barbecue during an apocalypse so as you can see they're all along the bottom of the screen and gosh it's like why is it so big um if I press fill empty spots um okay so that's okay so that's all filled in um finished bracket template it's just so many steps but hopefully it'll you know do what we want so let's go into oh okay let's just um going see what i mean this website's just buggy as anything there's adverts coming out the wazoo through her eyes versus how to sell a haunted house and we are picking which one's worst i think it's gonna have to be through her eyes claim by a coffee cup by a coffee mug or new adult mmm which one's worse which one's worse I'm gonna go with new adult as being worse shatter me versus oh this isn't even a question phasing dusk is worse blow part two versus trash trash um through her eyes versus new adult Ooh, this is a is it a hard one? No, I really disliked Through Her Eyes. Uh, fading Dusk versus Tress. Gotta be Fading Dusk. Oh, Through Her Eyes versus Fading Dusk. Oh, I think it's going to be Through Her Eyes. What about the other side? Oh, the book that wouldn't burn, 100%. Mr. Magic versus I Kiss Shara Wheeler. They're both very much on a par about why I didn't like them. Ooh, I kiss Shara Wheeler. <sighs> Can't resist her versus Frozen Charlotte. Mm. See, both of these were I'm just not the right audience. I'm going to go with Fro Frozen Charlotte as being worse. And then the Red versus Fight Night. This is a really hard one. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go with Fight Night being worse. Okay. Now we've got... Uh, not even a question, the book that wouldn't burn. And Fight Night. 
which means our no no we've got another tier i think find over obviously the book that wouldn't burn and the final one to see who is worst is through her eyes versus the book that wouldn't burn i mean it's gonna have to be the book that wouldn't burn i cannot get behind that book but like through her eyes was really bad as well so our winner which is also a loser um is the book that wouldn't burn so that is according to the brackets the worst book that i read this year okay so this bracket is a little less neat because i've got 48 books that were in the top category so we're just gonna finish bracket i've had to manually fill the spaces but i've tried to be random and not uh pick favorites kind of thing right so let's put this in presentation mode hopefully we'll have fewer adverts when we do this it's such a buggy website like it's not like optimized for use that's for sure so lost in the moment and found versus mislaid in parts half known like straight in with the hard questions um gosh i don't know i don't know because like oh, oh is it really hard is it really really hard um i'm gonna go for mislaid in parts half known and i have a feeling that's not on my best books list um Emily Wilde versus Salt in the Wound. So part of this is the audiobook for Emily Wilde is absolutely exceptional. But Salt in the Wound was also really good. Oh, again, a really hard one. I think I'm going to go for Emily Wilde. Fallen Thorns versus Gideon. Oh, you can't do that. Especially because they both hurt. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to give it to Gideon, but I did really like Fallen Thorns. The Dark Vault versus Vampire Menstrual Syndrome. Oh, gosh. These are all hard. Like, of course they're hard. They're like my favourite books of this year. I'm going to give it to Vampire Menstrual Syndrome. Um, dear, uh, oh, It's got to be Dear Ash, but I did enjoy The Near Witch. Uh, the Rule of Three versus Scat. The th Rule of Three yeah I, I it was so comforting a cruel arrangement versus starling house oh so i'm slightly biased because i've just reread a cruel arrangement but i'm going to give it to a cruel arrangement victory city and this pack is not ours it's going to be victory city uh the kindred versus a lesson in thorns these are two very different books I definitely would have never paired the two of these against each other. Oh, I don't know, because like, oh, uh, this is really hard. Oh, this one. I literally closed my eyes to pick that one. Uh, Dirty Letters versus Heartstopper. Got to be Heartstopper, but Dirty Letters is very good. Oh, Dark Duet. I did love the stars are dying but our dark duet is just top tier sanctuary cities versus 10 things that never happened Ooh, so hard it's so good it's so good um i'll go with 10 things that never happened like again sanctuary cities was really good but you know mislaid in, oh, it's got to be mislaid in parts half known Okay, Vampire Menstrual Syndrome against Gideon. Uh, Gideon. Dear Ash and... It's, yeah, the rule of three, I think, wins that one. A Cruel Arrangement against Free City. Mm, I'm going to go with Victory City. Heartstop and Kindred. No, not the hard ones again. Oh, Heartstopper. I don't do uh, against 10 things that never happened. I feel so bad for 10 things that never happened, but it's got to be our dark duet. <sighs> Miss Lady and Hearts Half Nine against Gideon. Ooh. 
Gideon. And rule of three against Victory City. Oh, you're killing me, Brackets. Why are you doing this? Rule of three. And, oh, that's a good one. Uh, our dark duet. Gideon versus rule of three. Mm, rule of three. Okay, and then we've got rule of three versus our dark duet. It's going to be a dark duet. Okay, on the savage side versus the salt kiss. On the savage side. Um, this savage, yeah, this savage song is the stronger Schwab. Ooh, Fragile Threads of Power versus Beg Me. Those are t those books have two very different energies. Um, the Fragile Threads of Power. Gilda Stories versus Blow Part One. Hmm. Mm. Blow Part One, I think. Fake Famous versus The Queering. Again, very different energies. Very different energies. Um, fake Famous. D these are very similar energies. So I'm going to go for a dirty business. Uh, Ninth House versus Rule of Wolves. Bardugo versus Bardugo. Rule of Wolves. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, the difference in the energy of these two. Um, oh gosh. I'm kind of tempted to go for Beach and Breached. Like, Vengeful was good, but... I'm actually going to go for Beach and Breached. Just like a gut feeling there. House of Hollow versus Night of Knives. See, I really, really enjoyed Night of Knives and that stood out to me because I had a hard time with this graphic novel. But I think House of Hollow is going to win this one. Slay versus Hate Notes. Ooh, I think Slay. Blood Dance versus The Will of the Many. Similar energy but different energy. Um... Hmm, I think Blood Dats. And Bullet Net Mist and Letters to the Lost. I feel like I read both of these at exactly the right time for them as well. I'm going to go for the Bullet Net Mist. Um, on the Savage Side. Yeah, on the Savage Side. I like those two Savages against each other though. Uh, f yeah, Fragile Threads of Power wins that one. Uh, dirty business there. Rule of Wolves, for, yeah, Rule of Wolves is going to be beached and breached. House of Hollow versus Slay. Yeah, actually, I did really enjoy House of Hollow. And Blood Dance versus the Bullet That Missed. Oh, it's got to be the Bullet That Missed. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, that's a really hard one. Oh. Gosh. Oh no. No. There's no right answer to this one. These were both so good. On the savage side. I can't believe I've said that. Uh Dirty Business versus Wool of Wolves. Mm. Rule of Wolves. It's a close one though. And House of Hollow versus the bullet that missed, I think, for that one. <sighs> On the savage side versus on the savage side, and on the savage side, on the savage side there as well. A dark duet versus. Oh, hmm. I genuinely think that's a really hard one because I adored both of these books, but which one to win? Which one to win? Oh, I hate it here. Why do I have to decide? Can I not just declare it a tie? Oh, if I have to decide, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm actually just going to close my eyes 
because I don't know. I did pick one on the savage side. Okay, so we have a winner and it is on the savage side. So those are my book brackets. It was surprisingly hard to figure out the best and worst using my book brackets. As I say, I'm going to be putting up my best, my worst, my most surprising, my most disappointing and a bonus other one next week. So subscribe if you are interested in actually seeing sort of thoughts on the books that you've seen in this video. But until tomorrow, love you. Bye.